This tutorial is a supplementary session designed as an extension to the free 10 minutes of coding lessons available from the Texas Instruments website. In this session, we introduce the while loop. Sometimes we need to repeat a set of instructions until a specific condition or set of conditions have been met. A nice example of this is Euclid's algorithm for finding the highest common factor of two numbers. Euclid's algorithm works as follows. If a equals zero, then the highest common factor of a and b is b. If b equals zero, the highest common factor of a and b is a. That all seems relatively straightforward. The next step, a equals q times b plus r, where q is the quotient and r is the remainder. In other words, if you divide a by b, r is the leftover. The highest common factor of a and b is equal to the highest common factor of b and r. And this is the clever part of the algorithm. To understand how it all works, let's find the highest common factor of 1995 and 770. We start by letting a equal to 1995 and b equal to 770. We move past the first two lines in the algorithm since neither a or b is equal to zero. The third line of the algorithm requires us to divide 1995 by 770. Well, that goes in about two and a bit times. So the quotient is two and the remainder is 455. So that's the third line of the algorithm complete. The final line of the algorithm states that the highest common factor of 1995 and 770 will now be the same as the highest common factor of 770 and 455. So our problem is a little bit simpler. So now we repeat the algorithm. Neither a or b is equal to zero, so we calculate 770 divided by 455. In this case, we see that 455 divides just once into 770 with a remainder of 315. So the highest common factor of 1995 and 770 will be the same as the highest common factor of 455 and 315. And again, we repeat the algorithm. Neither a or b equals zero. We calculate 455 divided by 315. And again, it divides just once, this time with a remainder of 140. And we go again. Notice that we still don't know how many times we need to repeat the algorithm. We divide 315 by 140. It divides twice with a remainder of 35. Now we divide 140 by 35, and this time, we get a remainder of zero. So the highest common factor of 35 and zero is 35. So according to the algorithm, the highest common factor of 1,995 and 770 is 35. Now, let's put all of that into a program. I'll call my program EHCF. Rather than use a request statement, I'll put A and B in the original program definition. Now we can launch straight into the algorithm. The algorithm is repeated while A and B are non-zero. This is an easy condition to test thanks to the null factor law. So if A or B become equal to zero, their product will be zero and the loop will terminate. That takes care of the first two lines of Euclid's algorithm. Now we need to find the remainder when the larger number is divided by the smaller. We can use the if statement to test if A is bigger than B. So if A is bigger than B, then we need to replace A with the remainder when A is divided by B. We can do this using the mod or modular arithmetic command. If A is not bigger than B, then we need to replace B with the remainder of B divided by A. And that is the entire algorithm. 
all that remains is to display the highest common factor. We can display the calculations as they progress through the loop. Now, let's test the program with our original numbers. The output shows the results much the same as what we obtained manually. We can shift the display command outside the loop and use an if statement to only display the highest common factor. Now our program is complete. An important part of any coding is to test it. Does our program work if A and B are mutually prime? What if A and B are the same? Does it matter if I enter the smaller number first? Once the program has been tested, try extending it to include the highest common factor of three numbers or even a list of numbers. That's all for this tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date as more tutorials are added to this series. Thanks for watching.